Alrighty, today we are going to be installing and configuring Deep Days. It is, uh, you've seen it all on TikTok, I'm sure, if you're coming from that platform. But it is a AI deep learning image creation tool. And uh, I won't be able to run it on this uh, machine though. But if your machine is entirely compatible, uh, if you would follow all of my instructions and run it, it should properly work. Anyone has any more issues, I'll do a follow-up video running it on a machine that has more than 4 gigabytes of VRAM. This machine does not have 4 gigabytes of VRAM. So what we're going to do first is we're going to have to get Python, any version uh, 3 or above. So we're going to get Python 3.9. Uh, I do believe that is the newest version. We're going to head over to their website. And we're going to click Downloads. We're going to click, this is a 64-bit operating system, and uh, we're going to want the auto installer. So when you're here, after clicking the downloads page, right, you're going to go ahead and click Python 3.9.2 or any version above 3.0. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to get the Windows auto installer for 64-bit. I already have it installed and I, I don't believe I uninstalled it for this video. But uh, you're going to want to get it to path is what you, you're going to want it to do. So um, that's the main course of action. Everything else, uh, installing Python shouldn't matter. You're just going to want to make sure that it is set to path. So, yep, my Norton set it as safe. That's perfectly fine. It was safe. We knew it was safe. We're going to run it. Uh, I'm just going to hit modify. That should tell me everything. Nah, okay. If you hit install, it'll be at the bottom right here. It'll say like install the path is uh, what you want. It'll be at the bottom. You want to click install the path. We've already done all of this, so it shouldn't matter. Um, all right. Common issue uh, that we have with uh, installing uh, Deep Days is that PyTorch uh, itself one second. So, um, a common issue with people is not the installing Deep Days itself doesn't actually install the correct dependency of PyTorch. And when people try to install PyTorch, sometimes PyTorch even stops uh, like mid download because it is a very large file comparatively and uh, you may have run into some issues so hopefully all of mine will help you next we're gonna go over and we're gonna get CUDA we're gonna get CUDA you need a CUDA compatible graphics card we downloading CUDA it'll tell you this is for like training AI and other stuff it's you know NVIDIA development tool we're gonna at Windows x86 uh, Windows 10 and then we're going to do a local exe and it's going to be the base installer i already have cuda installed on this system um we we already have it installed so we're just going to hit cancel and we're going to type in cuda over here and we're going to run it it'll tell you uh it's also our cuda is 11.22 that version will matter later because you're gonna we're gonna have to install pi uh torch properly I apologize for my chair um we're gonna have to install pytorch properly if uh, CUDA will ever launch just to show you what CUDA looks like so in case anyone ends up getting the wrong program come on CUDA I suppose that doesn't matter if it'll let you install it'll just do the express installation and now we're going to head over to the CMD. Uh, if you have the C command prompt open when you installed Python, you want to close it. And then uh, you hit CMD and then hit run as administrator. And I already have um, deep days installed. So you're just going to type pip3 install deep days. And it will, uh, if Python's configured properly, it'll just run the command. It'll take a few seconds and then it will install. So that's how you know you've properly done that. It'll st I'm going to cancel it when it starts installing, but you're going to run the program. Uh, you're going to it'll tell you how to run it properly if you go head over to their GitHub. 
So uh, that's probably where you want to note everything. This is how to run the program itself. And there's other things that you can change, but most people will run it like this. So we just wait. Uh. Oh, CUDA decides to launch for no reason. That took forever. And uh, it's just basically telling me I've already got everything installed here and that my PIP's older version. It doesn't matter for that. Uh, Jesus, CUDA. That doesn't matter anymore. And now what we're going to do is it installed the incorrect version of uh, Torch. So we're going to head over to Torch. It's PyTorch. PyTorch. Now, I don't, they could update this at any moment, and the auto installer will install the correct version. So we're going to go ahead and click Install. And we are going to click Pip, because uh, we're installing through Python. Stable, Windows, Pip, Python, Kudo 11.11. .11. And then it'll give us this command. And we're going to go ahead and copy this, but we're not using this. Because, again, it installed the wrong dependencies. So it's, gonna, it's going to look for the cache and, and go through the cache, and it will cause your windows to crash. So if people, like, skipped through um, the video, I recommend not doing that. And watch the whole video, because we're going to skip it looking over the cache. This right here says, yeah, don't look at the cache. Like, we, you just install this directly, and we're going to add user to the end of that. Uh, it's just another requirement. So, space, and then dot dot, user. And you should be able to run this command just fine. Uh, and it will, uh, if it'll copy properly. There it goes. And when you run it, it'll reinstall, you know, the correct version I already have it and then um, you just type at well you want to relaunch of course CMD uh, run as administrator if you have any more issues that uh, didn't happen to me I'll be grateful to help you out so imagine and then we'll say a cat in a hat and of course I don't have enough VRAM on this system so it may not imagine it I have just barely four gigabytes it's actually like 4.5 of VRAM so it's a hit and miss whether it will actually start uh, but yeah it probably won't but I do have it working on a, on a, my cloud computer so uh, if you guys want to see a follow-up video on this but this is basically like the quick install guide because I, I didn't I have not seen any out there and uh, I will actually probably end up recording a better video for this this was just like the quick how you do it, how you run it properly, uh, anything else I'm missing on it, I really doubt. I think you just needed PyTorch because it was the dependency was out of date, and the auto installer for pip should install everything you need. So, oh, it's going to be pip3, I do believe. Did I show it as pip3? I don't think it matters, but pip3 is how you're supposed to do it. You say pip3 install deep days that's how you do it but yeah oh it might actually work this time I don't think it is it opened uh, this is where it'll put the images and you can just search it like you know a cat in a hat it is taking up all of my CPU power though I don't know if this video will properly record with what's going on right now. Uh, a cat in a hat. And it'll have the image here if it imagines it. And the, the longer you let it run, you know, the better. So that's the whole video. I know it wasn't the best, but I hope this helps.